Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting should always be done legally and with permission from authorized platforms. Any misuse of these techniques is strictly prohibited, and I do not encourage any illegal activity. Stay ethical. Stay legal. Bug bounty hunting is a game of speed, precision, and automation. If you are still manually scanning for vulnerabilities, you are already behind. In this video, we will show you how to automate bug hunting and make your workflow faster, smarter, and more efficient. From powerful recon tools to custom scripts and AI-driven automation, we will cover the best ways to maximize your bug bounty success. If you are ready to level up and start finding high-paying bugs faster than ever, watch till the end. This video is a game changer for your bug bounty journey. Why automate bug bounty hunting? Bug bounty hunting is exciting, but also time consuming and repetitive. Manually scanning for vulnerabilities can slow you down, but automation changes the game. By automating reconnaissance, scanning, and even exploitation tasks, you can save time by reducing manual efforts. Increase efficiency with background running tools. Find more vulnerabilities by quickly scanning large targets. Focus on advanced hacking instead of repetitive tasks. In this video, we will walk you through 20 essential bug bounty automation techniques and tools that will speed up your workflow and boost your bug bounty journey. If you are serious about mastering bug bounty automation, don't just watch, be part of the journey. Hit that like button if you are learning something new. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a powerful hacking tip. Now, let's jump back in and take your skills to the next level. Number one. Automated subdomain enumeration. Subdomain enumeration is a crucial first step in bug bounty hunting. Many companies have multiple subdomains, and some may be poorly secured or forgotten, making them potential entry points for vulnerabilities. Instead of manually searching for subdomains, automation tools can help quickly and efficiently uncover them. Tools like Subfinder, Amass and Asset Finder are fast advance and quick tools for finding subdomains from various sources. These tools scan public sources, certificates, APIs, and DNS records to find subdomains linked to a target domain. Some even perform brute force attacks to uncover hidden subdomains that may not be publicly listed. Finding subdomains is a critical first step in reconnaissance for bug bounty hunting and penetration testing. These commands automate the process by using different tools to gather as many subdomains as possible. Subfinder queries various public sources such as SSL certificates, API, and search engines to find subdomains quickly. D specifies the domain to scan, and O tag saves the discovered subdomains to a file. A mass enum passive performs passive reconnaissance, meaning it doesn't send direct requests to the target but instead gathers data from OSINT sources. D specifies the domain to search and O tag used to save the results to a file. Asset Finder Sub only fetches subdomains using sources like CertSpotter, HackerTarget, and Facebook Certificate Transparency Logs. Number two, automate port scanning with Nmap and MassCan. Once you have gathered subdomains, the next step is port scanning to identify open services and potential attack vectors. Manually checking each subdomain is slow, but automation with Nmap and MassCan makes this process lightning fast and efficient. Best tools for automated port scanning is MassCan. This tool is an ultra-fast port scanner that can scan the entire internet in minutes. And Nmap, who is more detailed scanner that detects open ports, services, and vulnerabilities. This Nmap command is designed for a comprehensive port scan, identifying open ports, detecting running services, and collecting useful information for further exploitation. P is used for ports, open displays only open ports. SV tag is used for service versions. T4 sets the scan speed to aggressive mode and last on tag is used for save result. Masscan is one of the fastest port scanners available. To quickly find open ports on a target, use this command. P is used for ports which are defined as entire ports running on the planet. Rate is used to send packets per seconds. And OL is used to output your result. Number three. Automating screenshot capture for subdomains. Once you have discovered subdomains, the next step is visual reconnaissance. Capturing screenshots of web applications running on those subdomains. Instead of manually visiting each one, automation tools like Eyewitness and Aquatone can quickly generate screenshots, helping you identify interesting and vulnerable targets at a glance. Eyewitness is easy to use. Just write the tool name along with F options and specify the input file which contains a list of subdomains to be processed. 
This cat command automates screenshot capturing of multiple subdomains using Aquatone, a reconnaissance tool that helps visualize and identify interesting web targets. Number four, automating directory brute forcing. After identifying subdomains, the next step is discovering hidden directories and files that might contain sensitive information, misconfigurations, or exposed admin panels. Instead of manually guessing paths, tools like FFUF and GoBuster automate this process, quickly brute forcing directories and files on web servers. These commands use FFUF and GoBuster to automate directory brute forcing, helping identify hidden files and directories on a target website. Number five, automating JavaScript analysis. JavaScript files often contain valuable information like API keys, sensitive endpoints, authentication tokens, and hidden parameters. Instead of manually going through each JavaScript file, automation tools like LinkFinder and GF can quickly extract useful data, saving time and uncovering vulnerabilities faster. This command automates JavaScript analysis using LinkFinder, a tool that extracts hidden endpoints, API URL, and links from JavaScript files. And the second command automates API key extraction from JavaScript files using GF. It is a powerful pattern matching tool for bug bounty hunting. Number six, automating parameter discovery. Hidden parameters in URLs can lead to vulnerabilities like SQL injection, XSS, open redirects, and IDOR. Instead of manually guessing parameters, automation tools like Param, Spider, and Arjun can quickly discover them, saving time and exposing attack surfaces faster. This Python 3 command automates hidden parameter discovery using Param Spider, a tool designed to extract get parameters from a target website for security testing. And second one, this command automates parameter discovery for API endpoints using Arjun, a tool that brute forces get and post parameters. Number seven, automate XSS detection. Cross-site scripting or XSS is one of the most common web vulnerabilities, allowing attackers to inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. Instead of manually testing each input field, automation tools like Dalfox and XS Strike can quickly identify reflected, stored, and DOM-based XSS vulnerabilities in web applications. This command automates XSS or cross-site scripting detection using Dalfox, a powerful XSS scanning tool. Then the second command automates XSS or cross-site scripting detection using XS Strike, an advanced XSS scanner that generates and tests payloads dynamically. Number eight, automate SQL injection testing. SQL injection is a critical vulnerability that allows attackers to manipulate database queries and gain unauthorized access to sensitive information. Instead of manually testing each input field, SQL map automated SQL injection detection and exploitation, making the process faster and more efficient. SQL map is a powerful tool for automating SQL injection attacks and database enumeration. This command helps identify if a target website is vulnerable to SQL I and extracts database information, specifies the target URL with a parameter ID equal to one, that SQL map will test for injection. Number nine, automating SSRF discovery. Server-side request forgery or SSRF allows attackers to manipulate a server into making requests to internal or external systems. This can lead to accessing internal services, leaking metadata, or even remote code execution in some cases. Instead of manually testing each request, automation tools like Gopherus and Interact SH help detect and exploit SSRF vulnerabilities efficiently. Gopherus helps generate payloads for exploiting SSRF vulnerabilities. This protocol allows sending raw TCP data useful for attacking Redis, MySQL, and other services. The tool generates payloads that can be used in SSRF attacks to interact with internal systems. Interact SH client is used to detect blind SSRF DNS exfiltration, and other OOB interactions. VTAG enables verbose mode to show detailed logs. This tool listens for server interactions, helping detect when a payload successfully triggers an SSRF request. Number 10, automating LFI and RFI detection. Local file inclusion or LFI and remote file inclusion or RFI vulnerabilities allow attackers to read sensitive files, execute malicious scripts, and even gain remote code execution in some cases. Manually testing for these vulnerabilities can be slow, but automation tools like LFI Suite and FI Map help detect and exploit them efficiently. These commands automate local file inclusion detection and exploitation using LFI Suite and FI Map, two powerful LFI scanning tools. LFI Suite attempts to exploit LFI vulnerabilities by injecting file traversal payloads. The payload tries to read the system's password file. FI Map scans for LFI and RFI or remote file inclusion vulnerabilities in the given URL. If vulnerable, it can help read files, execute code, 
or escalate privileges. Number 11. Automating Open Redirect Detection Open redirect vulnerabilities allow attackers to redirect users to malicious websites, often used in phishing attacks, session hijacking, or bypassing security mechanisms. Instead of manually testing URLs for redirection flaws, Oralizer automates the detection of open redirects quickly and efficiently. This command automates open redirect vulnerability detection using Oralizer, a tool designed to test URLs for redirection flaws. LTAG specifies the list of URLs to scan for potential open redirect issues. PTAG uses a predefined list of malicious redirect payloads to test if the URLs are vulnerable. Number 12. Automating Security Headers Check Security headers protect web applications from attacks like XSS, clickjacking, and data injection. Missing or misconfigured security headers can expose a website to serious vulnerabilities. Tools like Nikto and HTTPX automate the process making security assessments faster and more efficient. These commands help automate web vulnerability scanning and security header analysis using Nikto and HTTPX. Nikto is a web vulnerability scanner that checks for security misconfigurations, outdated software, and known vulnerabilities. The H option specifies the target website. It scans for issues like insecure HTTP headers, default credentials, and outdated components. HTTPX is a fast HTTP toolkit for security reconnaissance. U specifies the target URL, SC fetches the HTTP status code, title extracts the web page title, server identifies the web server software. O is used for saves the results in a file. Number 13, automating API recon. API often contain hidden endpoints, sensitive data exposure, and security flaws that can be exploited in bug bounty programs. Instead of manually searching for API endpoints, automation tools like Postman and KiteRunner help discover and analyze APIs faster and more efficiently. This command automates API endpoint discovery using KiteRunner, a tool designed for brute forcing API paths. You can only specify the URL and it itchics, uses a word list of common API endpoints to brute force. Number 14. Automating Content Discovery Content discovery is essential in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing because it helps uncover hidden endpoints, old directories, and sensitive files that could lead to serious vulnerabilities. Tools like Jiao and Wayback URLs automate this process by collecting historical URLs from sources like the Wayback Machine, Common Crawl, and Alien Vault OTX. These commands automate content discovery by collecting historical and live URLs from various sources. JU or Get All URLs fetches URLs from public archives, including Google, Wayback Machine, and Common Crawl. Wayback URLs extracts historical URLs from the Wayback Machine. Number 15. Automating S3 Bucket Enumeration Amazon S3 buckets often contain sensitive files, configuration data, or leaked credentials, making them a prime target for security testing. Manually checking for misconfigured S3 buckets is time-consuming, but automation tools like AWS Bucket Dump can quickly scan for exposed buckets and list their contents. This command automates Amazon S3 bucket enumeration using AWS Bucket Dump, a tool designed to find open S3 buckets and list their contents. Number 16. Automating CMS enumeration. Many websites use content management systems or CMS like WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal, which often have known vulnerabilities. Manually checking a site's CMS type and version can be slow, but tools like CMSeq automate the process, making it easy to detect security flaws. This command automates CMS enumeration using CMSeq, a tool designed to detect and analyze CMS platforms like WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. Number 17. Automating WAF Detection Web application firewalls or WAF are security mechanisms designed to filter, monitor, and block malicious traffic. Identifying the web application firewalls protecting a target website is crucial in penetration testing and bug bounty hunting because different WAFs have different rules, bypass techniques, and vulnerabilities. Automating this process with WAF Woof helps quickly determine which web application firewalls is in place. This command automates web application firewall detection using WAF Woof a tool designed to identify and fingerprint WAFs protecting a website. Number 18. Automating Information Disclosure Detection Information disclosure is a critical security issue where sensitive data such as source code, credentials, API keys, and internal configurations are unintentionally exposed. One common source of leaks is exposed.git repositories, which can reveal a website's entire code base. Automating the detection of these leaks using Git tools can help quickly identify and retrieve sensitive information. 
This command automates the extraction of .git repositories from a website using git dumper, a tool designed to recover exposed git repository data. Number 19, automating reverse shell generation. A reverse shell is a powerful exploit technique where an attacker forces a target machine to connect back to a remote system, giving the attacker control over the target. Instead of manually crafting payloads, we can automate reverse shell generation using MSF Venom, a tool in the Metasploit framework. This command creates a PHP reverse shell payload using Metasploit's MSF Venom tool. The generated payload allows an attacker to gain a remote meter preter session on the target machine once executed. Number 20, automating mass exploitation with Metasploit. Metasploit is one of the most powerful frameworks for automating vulnerability exploitation. Instead of manually identifying and exploiting individual targets, you can automate mass exploitation across multiple systems, saving time and increasing efficiency. These commands are used in Metasploit framework to launch an exploit targeting the Apache Struts2 OGNL injection vulnerability. This vulnerability allows remote code execution on affected servers. And that's it. Bug hunting isn't just about finding vulnerabilities. It's about persistence, continuous learning, and mastering your craft. Every elite hacker started as a beginner, facing failures, roadblocks, and endless hours of debugging. But those who push through the challenges rise to the top. In this video, we explored 20 powerful bug bounty automation tools designed to take your hacking skills to the next level. With these tools, you can automate tedious tasks, speed up reconnaissance, and uncover vulnerabilities faster than ever before. The key to success in bug bounty hunting is working smarter, not harder. And automation is the secret weapon of top hackers. Now it's your turn. Which tool impressed you the most? Drop a comment below and let me know. If you want even more pro-level hacking tips, Smash that like button and subscribe so you never miss a new hacking tutorial. This is just the beginning. Keep learning, keep automating, and keep hacking. See you in the next one.